Just in time for lunch. Okay. Um. What up, ninja? Hi, ninjas, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making burgers. This is my burger 101 video. I was gonna say real, but it's not a real, it's a video and it's on YouTube. Um, last week, if you haven't already seen, I posted a video on how to make potato buns or burger buns which were really really simple and these are the guys we made they're so soft and squishy look at that you squish it down anyway so we made these burger buns because as much as you might really enjoy buying burger buns from outside it really doesn't take a lot of time for you to make your own buns at home and the house smells really nice when you make your own bread but that's immaterial Today's recipe is broken down into a couple of parts. So we talk about the bread, we talk about the kind of meat you can use, the kind of cheese you can use, and a couple of condiments that go with it, whether it's sauces and like maybe onions, tomatoes, and whatever, whatever. We are making smash slash cheeseburgers. So you're gonna see that they're very juicy and very yummy, and it's something that you would love to have over a weekend when you've got people over, and it's really, 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 really really delicious let's get started so the first part to a good burger is knowing the kind of buns you need to have now you could like I said use potato buns because they're really nice and soft or you could use brioche buns you could buy burger buns today at the store as well but you definitely need a round bun that's soft and buttery because that really adds a bit of richness into the burger when you bite into it and the softness as well that you need the second part to a really good burger is the meat i am using beef mince today and bacon combined you can use any mince that you like but let's talk about the mince over here up top thank you very much you need to have a mixture of fat and lean meat so using chuck using brisket is very good because it's got a nice amount of fat running through the meat if you don't have a very fatty meat in your mince you could add more fat like bacon for example and that adds flavor as well as fat which helps the burger and the patty stay really juicy and moist when you bite into it later the third part to a good burger is obviously cheese and contrary to popular belief for a good smash slash cheeseburger the easiest cheese and the most efficient cheese to use is American sliced cheese believe it or not but obviously if you want good flavor you could use a multitude of good melting cheeses so I've also got Gruyere you can use Gouda you can use Emmental, anything that you like in terms of how the flavor profile is but also melts really well is good for you to use on your burger the fourth part to a good burger are the condiments so i am making a separate burger sauce which includes many things put together but you can add things like pickles you can do minced garlic you can do ginger it's completely up to you obviously you could do add-ons like lettuce tomato onions and a bunch of things if you wanted or keep it classic and just have the cheese with the patty and the sauce and the bread and that's good to go as well i'm gonna stop yapping and we're gonna start cooking now So we're going to get started on the sauce. I'm going to be using some thyme. You can use any fresh herbs that you like. So now that I have my add-ons and my sauce in place, I'm gonna start by getting on with my meat. And I wanna chop my bacon fairly fine because I wanna mix it in with my mince. So now that you've got your mince mixture completely combined, when it comes to seasoning your burger patties, I just like going simple with salt and pepper. You could do crushed black pepper, flaky salt, it doesn't matter, but good amount of salt and pepper. That's all you really need if you're using good quality meat. 
you could also do celery salt if you want it but I don't go heavy on the spices here I don't add any ginger garlic nothing into it because really good meat doesn't need a lot of seasoning when it comes to making a good burger as for shaping you want to get a decent amount in your hand and this totally depends on how big your burger buns are you want your patty to be a little bigger than your bun because as it cooks it does shrink out Yeah. Can we just look at the juice? Look at that juice. Look at that juice. Now that's a juicy burger. I think dry burgers are just like, you know, a disgrace to humanity. <laughs> okay, come on, let's have a bite. Let's try and get everything in it. It's a mess, but... Oh my God. That is so good. That is... Okay, before I take another bite. Can you look at the juice? Can you look at the juice just dripping down? A juicy burger is everything, but the meat can be cooked however you like it. If you want it to be cooked medium, well, completely up to you. If your meat is really good quality meat, don't, 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 don't cook it well done. Please don't cook it well done, okay? Let it have some juice left inside. The cheese is again something that you can decide. Everything is customizable, but this is just how I think I would make a good hearty burger. You know, I just, yeah, you know? This is my burger 101 recipe, you guys. Honestly, once you have a good homemade burger, nothing competes. It is so juicy, so delicious. The homemade potato buns are an absolute winner. The meat, the kind of meat you use, obviously the bacon in there, the types of cheeses you use that have that lovely melting effect, and obviously your add-ons. You could also add more pickles as an add-on. You could do caramelized onions. I kept it fairly simple because that burger sauce is an absolute star. It brings everything together. So I gotta go back to my burger because you know what happens, it's gonna get messy now. So all I'm gonna say is, if you've not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you already have done that. I got new videos coming out every week. Next week is something sweet, so stay tuned for that. Until then, all I can say is positive ninja vibes.